the time frames. All the time. Am I doing a good happy hour raise? Do it. It's it looks it looks terrible, doesn't it? Yes, I'm Speculator Seth. Catch me live every day from 8.20 to 10.30 Eastern Time. So if you have any questions, you're having trouble getting this to work, just come in and ask me when I'm streaming and I'll help you out. You can also contact me on Discord or, of course, the video comments. And yeah, this is a set of indicators for NinjaTrader 8 that we've actually had in our downloads channel for a while, but I never really explained what they are or how they're supposed to be used. Um, so... That could maybe be a little confusing if you just download the indicators. So I'm going to show you how these indicators are intended to be used and why they're useful. Okay, so I'm going to create a new chart here to show you guys how to use these indicators. I'm going to do it on a five minute chart. And the key thing here is that you want to have enough days to show all of the different time frames that you're going to be looking at. So normally I would add at least 32 days to make sure that you get a whole month of data in there. Okay add the two indicators they are IRTFC and TFC they may be in different folders than what I have here on my machine okay so what we've got here down at the bottom is we have these little blocks that show you what's going on on all of the different time frames. So it's kind of this ribbon. The bottom most level right there is the hour, day, week, month, and then the top one is just are they all in a line or not. And so this is just a really quick way to see are we positive or negative compared to the open on all of these different time frames. So this is really useful because now you kind of get an idea of how all of the different time frame of traders, whether they're scalping, day traders, swing traders, or the big mutual funds that are holding long-term positions, are they positive or minus on the hour? Also, you can quickly see if we're moving up or down on those time frames because markets behave differently whether we're moving up or down. Now, the other indicator, the levels, adds these levels up here. And um, this just shows you what was the open for those different time frames. So you can see here, got one line here that was for when the day starts. And then I have another line here that shows us the hour. And then there's also a week and a month line. You come way, way down there, well below 3,000. You can see where we started the month out at, right? Now, there's a, a couple of fun things that you can do with this customization. For instance, I like to have my ribbon a little bit bigger. So one thing that you can do is you can come into the indicators and you can change these uh, plots that I've got here, the total monthly, weekly, daily, hourly. Mm -mm. And instead of them being blocks, if you don't like the squares, you can just turn them into bars, for instance. Let me turn these all into bars. Make sure that the match data series width is the same. Should already be checked, but bar. Click OK. OK, and now I get something that I can kind of expand, which is kind of nice, right? You get a really, really clear view. Where are we on these different time frames? Check out this area right here where all of the time frames were green, right? So when all the time frames are in accordance with each other, you tend to get really strong trends. Of course, it's not guaranteed, but just kind of, you know, everybody's winning at that point. So that's when you get some of the best moves. Now, you might have noticed I had a couple of plots that were also signal plots. And a lot of that was created so that we could write strategies off of it. But it's also useful if you do the market analyzer. So like I could come in here and I could just add like futures. Okay, so here's a bunch of futures. And then um, if I come in here into the columns, let's just get rid of all these other columns for now. And then you come in here, add indicator. Okay, and then we choose our PFC. Mm -hmm. we had our TFC in here 
And then I can come in here and I can say, okay, plot me the hourly signal. Cool. And then I believe it's down in here. You can say conditions, cell, add condition, and then apply to if condition is greater than zero, then let's make it uh, blue. And if it's less than, zero, we'll make it uh, orange. Okay. All right. And so now you can see here, are we positive or negative? And so now we can see here on the hour, these are the instruments that are moving up and these are the instruments that are moving down really quickly at a glance. And you can go and you can add that for all of the different time frames. I'm not gonna spend all that time, but that's another way that you can use it that's really useful. Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you is the multi-period candles. And what this allows you to do is show a bunch of different time frames on one chart. And so that can also give you a good idea of what the chart looks like on different time frames really, really easily. So before I go into that, I want to explain something kind of funky with the way that Ninja Trader draws charts. So I have a regular candlestick chart up here. And you notice that when I mouse over this last bar, the center of the bar is 2055. If I go to the right of it, uh, then it changes to 2057, right? But the, the center of it is 2055. Well, there's another kind of bar type called a box. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add a box, okay? And a box is different because if I go back to that 2055, right, it's the center of that top candle. But on the bottom, it's to the right of the candle. So basically where your cursor is, right, this is the beginning of the bar and this is the end of the bar. It's bar starts at 2050, ends at 2055. Makes more sense to me, but anyways, that makes the boxes a little bit better to show different charts on top of each other. And another cool thing about the box is that if I come down and I change the box, to say from a five minute chart to a 60 minute chart, then it will expand to fill it down there on the bottom. That's kind of cool. But the problem with the box is that you can't see the open high low close. You just see the high and the low. So that's why we have the multi-period candles. So I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna change both of these to multi-period candles. I'm gonna make that one a multi-period candle and this one a multi-period candle and click okay. All right, and now we've got both data series with candles on top of them, right? And you can see here again, I go over to, you know, this is the, the candle that ends at 2100 here on the hour, and this is the candle that ends at 2055. Now, the key thing, and this is the thing that you wouldn't know if you just had the indicator, you just downloaded it, is that the trick is, is you can drag them on top of each other. So if I click down here and I click on the data series, you see how there's these little circles show up? And I just click and drag. And now I'm showing them on top of each other. And if I click this other data series, I press shift and the scroll wheel, and I can, you know, change the Z order of them so that this one is on top. All right. So then, um, you know, there's all of these different settings that you can set in here. So for instance, um, I really like to use this draw high, low box thing. So you can do that. Um, if you like the wicks to be a little bit, stronger you can just you know let's change that to a five pixel width now now that's a little bit more clear what it is or you can just completely get rid of the outlines which is is what i tend to do so let's see here transparent transparent then let's make that background a little bit less strong. So maybe like 40% opacity. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. So that's the way that I tend to have my charts set up. And again, you can like add as many time frames as you want and set them up with different colors. So let's add in here another data series, ES, multi-period candles, and let's make it a 1440 minute chart which is the number of minutes in a trading day. Ah, check it out. Pretty cool, right? So now you get 
all of the time frames on top of each other. And of course, the way that I have it on, let's let's move that one to the back. There we go. And of course, you can kind of set them up with different colors and you know, you can make something that makes sense to you. And when you get your chart all set up the way that you want, and there's a lot of fun things that you can do with it, you can see all of the different time frames that you're interested in at the same time. As again, I'm not a huge fan of technical analysis. Remember that past price kind of has an unsteady and unreliable relationship with future price, but that doesn't mean that these things don't matter, right? We move differently when we're moving up we move differently on different time frames and so that will cause different participants to react in different ways because they're making money or losing money one of the things that i found is really powerful is if we have a setup where all of the different time frames are set up to go negative and say you get some sort of news that causes a reversal and you can just kind of see all of the time frames are lined up to, to change and when you have a chart set up like this you can see very easily that almost all of the market participants are about to get wiped out and are going to have to flip around. Yeah, this can be a powerful concept, but also like these charts are just so much fun, right? So again, the downloads are in the video description below. I look forward to seeing you when I stream in the morning. Again, if you have any problems, just come in and ask me on stream and I'll help you fix it. And in the meantime, stay profitable, friends.